Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new. I have some new K-pop opinions for you guys, but this time I didn't hold back because K-pop stands are pissing me off and I had to be straightforward. If you disagree with me that's totally okay because these are just my opinions. Feel free to tell me yours in the comments. Now enough with the talking and let's just go on with the video. We should normalize not following every member's solo activity equally, whether it is about group members that have individual solo activities or members of a disbanded group that go their separate ways in their new careers. People act as if you had to support everyone equally, but of course that's unrealistic. You're not gonna like every solo discography equally. You're not gonna like everyone's concept equally. So you will normally follow the member who's doing what you love the most. Not to mention we all have our biases to prioritize. I'm kinda tired of hearing people complaining about armies not following every BTS member's solo activities equally. And I'm also tired of people complaining about how some eyes one stands are not keeping up with every soloist the same. I'm sorry but what are people supposed to do if they don't enjoy a certain discography? Of course they might try to support the member out of love for the group. But in the end we're all gonna be more invested in members that put out music we vibe with. So I think we should normalize not following everyone equally because that's literally not a problem. Macni is not a personality trait. Get over it. Not everyone will act like the baby of the group just because they are the Macni. Not everyone will be cute and goofy just because they are the Macni. So get over it. I'm so tired of people saying how one Macni is better than the other because they act like a real Macni. Like what the fuck does that even mean? Macni just means being the youngest. It has nothing to do with someone's personality. You all have to stop with this obsession over the youngest member having to be cute, carefree, chaotic and playful just because they are the youngest. Each idol has a different personality. Not every Macni is the same and there is no right or wrong way to be a Macni. I'm sick and tired about you all constantly comparing idols and saying how this member is a better Macni because they embody the Macni role better. I'm sorry but fuck off. These are real people we're talking about. They're not some kind of cartoon character that has to fit the role you want. There are many Macnees that don't act like the youngest members and are sometimes more mature than the older members and that's fine. There are some Macnees that are introverts and they're not gonna scream and jump around like fucking crackheads all the time. And that's fine. So stop being ridiculous and expect these people to act like someone they're not. You always preach about how idols should be free to be themselves. But then you're the first who wants to put them in a box just because they happen to be the youngest. Please grow up. For example, y'all have to stop with this narrative that Uncha from Le Seraphim is the standard for Macni. She's not special. She's just a Macni like everyone else. I have nothing against her. But I'm so tired of how some of you use her to drag other idols. Stop competing over which group is the least privileged and stop viewing privilege so negatively. Back in the day, stands used to brag about their faves coming from big companies. But nowadays stands brag about their faves coming from small companies. People that stan actually underrated groups would pay for their faves to be privileged and come from a famous company, have famous members, famous producers, famous seniors and a big budget. While some of you are desperately trying to prove how your faves that come from the big four don't have any privilege, that's absurd. Let that sink in. Being privileged is actually great for a group. Nobody wants to see a group actually struggle. Nobody wants to see a group working hard and never getting recognized for their talents. Let's stop demonizing every sort of privilege, because I guarantee that if you stand a very underrated group you would also want them to be privileged. The general public just doesn't vibe with Kepler's music, it's not that deep. Every day I see people writing essays about why Kepler isn't as successful as other 4th gen girl groups and other Mnet survival show groups. People say that Kepler debuted during the pandemic and after the produce rigging scandal which was a disadvantage for them, and sure, it was. But many other groups debuted during the pandemic and are doing fine. Not to mention Eyes One were literally the group who was caught up in the middle of the scandal but they still remained relevant because people liked what they put out. So I don't think the scandal has anything to do with this. You all say another reason for their lack of success with the general public is the mismanagement from the company. But I don't think it matters, of course. It might stop some people to actively stand them. But I promise you the general public doesn't give a damn about that. The general public probably doesn't even know their names, let alone what goes on behind the scenes. If the general public likes your music they just like it, regardless of some members not having lines and other things that only the fandom knows about. I think it's not that deep. People are just not liking their music. That's all. There's no need to write paragraphs trying to find other reasons. Because sometimes there's no reason. Or in this case, 
The reason is very simple and the general public just prefers listening to something else. One young could literally have three seconds of lines and screen time and you all would still find a way to scream about favoritism. Liz got few lines in kitchen people found a way to make it about one young when she wasn't even first for amount of lines and she was third after Eugene and Guy Hool. Now Wan Young ranked last in line distribution for their new title track I Am, and people are still finding a way to prove she is being favored, like some of you are making it so clear you're happy seeing her getting the least lines, but at least stop talking about favoritism when there's none, it's not even like she always has the most lines in I've songs, but by the way you all speak, you make it seem as if she always has the most lines, another example is solo activities for this new era, the members are all partaking in some solo schedules or they're doing it in groups of three, and guess what, so far Wan Young hasn't been included in any of these schedules, for heaven's sake what do you all even want now, even if Starship gave her three seconds of lines and screen time, even if they put her in the far back and even if they gave her no activities whatsoever, you will still only focus on her and complain she's overshadowing the others, it's starting to sound like a you problem at this point. Maybe you really cannot take your eyes off of her and that's why you never notice when the other girls are doing something, but just cause you don't see it it doesn't mean it's not happening. Big groups no longer need to chart high in order to confirm their relevancy in the K-pop scene. Charts might be important for rookies and for groups that have yet to grow in popularity, but once you reach a certain level of relevancy they don't matter anymore. You're not gonna sit here and tell me twice are irrelevant in South Korea just because they chart poorly. I do not even stand them, but I can assure you they're still at the top in terms of relevancy. Same with BTS, who cares if they no longer chart like they used to, who cares if the members' solo music isn't doing too well domestically, they're still the most famous K-pop idols ever, and again, this comes from someone who doesn't even stand them, so I'm not being biased. You might think groups are supposed to always be on top of the charts to maintain their level of popularity, but once they reach a certain level, once they become so big, it doesn't matter if they fall off the charts. So guys, these were my straightforward opinions, like I said, it's totally fine if you disagree with me, and if you want, feel free to tell me your opinion as well, thanks for watching, bye everyone.